It's official, guys. It's the last day of 2018. When the clock strikes midnight, it'll be 2019. It'll be goodbye 2018 and hello 2019. The last year of the decade, 2019. <sighs> but let me talk to you guys more on all the stuff that I've been through this year. It all began back in January. When, uh, I was browsing around at Bentley Mall, Safeway and Michaels, but then as I was making my way out, well, there is a dude who has to make a bad scene. And then, he then continued on his chaotic scene by knocking down the trash can, and just like that, the Fairbanks Police Department have to arrest his ass. If you guys want to relive that, <clears throat> relive that video, it's called "Bad," a very bad scene at Safeway slash Bentley Mall slash Michaels. You can go to Two Five Nine Vlog playlist and look for that video and relive that video. I also went to the Fly Trampoline Park like six times this year on six different occasions. And it could have been better if Tessa was there. And Tessa Mary Huck. But she couldn't make it. I'm sorry. Well, uh, what else that happened? And I tried paying the March car payment in February, but it did not happen, so I had to move it to March instead. And then, uh, in March, well, I did not celebrate Lance's 18th birthday. I did not say happy birthday to Mom. No. Because one, Mom said some harsh words about me. Not because I work. And two, Mom didn't tell me that it was her birthday. She didn't text me or leave it on the board. No. She didn't do that. And uh, Robert Earl Hicks, my former McDonald's GM, he has to make an enforcement rule that employees have to pay one dollar for a hairnet. But is Robert Earl Hicks way or the highway? I already put up a post on that on March 26th of this year. After when I had a disgraced confrontation with Robert Earl Hicks about employees have to pay one dollar for a goddamn hairnet but you know it's against the law to pay it for hairnets on the job it's illegal but we had to follow that enforcement rule whether we like it or not because it's robert earl hicks way or the highway and mom was pissed off on that not want to look back into that day. When else that happened? In May, I had to be involved in the health inspection. And that Charles had to make it a, had to add insult to injury that I had to drop six McChickens instead of four. Uh, I would not want to look back into that day. But at least I retired Geistro McDonald's on May 13th of this year. And that's Mother's Day. But then throughout that month, it will actually throughout that month, we had to do a lot of packing, a lot of donation, a lot of straightening up. And that's exactly what we did. On our old home, that small apartment, Glasgow Drive. Yeah, 4772 Glasgow Drive. Because we've been staying in that place for four years because Brandon and Lance are the remaining graduates. And the day to remember that we left Fairbanks, Alaska is June 2nd. And we did went on vacation. I mean, I pay a visit to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, not once, but twice this year. First time, 
me, Brandon, and Lance. We want to spend some time in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But then, in July, that's when we went to the Knobles Amusement Park. Four hours far from Philadelphia. And we did relive some of the places that we went since when we were kids. Since 2006. And also we pay a visit to Dad's place. But then Lance and I have to stay with Dad for 48 hours at Hinesville, Georgia. Because on the next day we have to work on the grass and the plants. And that's exactly what we did. And then after that, we had to spend 48 hours with Granddad in his tiny small house, but he has a direct TV though. And then, to finish off the rest of the summer, I have to stay in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, alone. Well, but it's just a temporary thing. It's not like it's the end of my life or something. If I have to stay in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania alone temporarily, then I have to. And on September 8th of this year, that's when I moved here in Columbia, South Carolina. But there are a lot of expressways, a lot of highways that Mom and I will intend to in the future. So that's why everybody's going to have to get their GPSs on because you know that there's lots of expressways and a lot of highways that you could be easily be lost. And I'm just gonna go on record in saying this, that GPSs can be a pain if they tell you to go on the wrong directions. But whether people like it or not, they have to have GPSs, otherwise they'll get lost. Easily. So mom did show me around Columbia, South Carolina. I mean, we went to the zoo. We went to every place that Columbia, South Carolina has. And I have took a long walk outside of Columbia, South Carolina, but actually it's not a 15 mile walk. It's not a 30 mile walk because if it's 15 miles or 30 miles, I'll be a lot farther to the expressway. I did make a video about that, but actually I made a 3 mile walk, not a 15 mile walk or 30 mile walk. Well, it's hard to explain, it's hard to tell how far I'm going. But the correction is 3 miles, not 15 miles or 30 miles. And that happened on October 30th of this year. Ugh. I try to get a good Halloween footage in this neighborhood, but after when my GoPro camera could not work, that cost me to do it. And throughout November, it was a nothing to do November. I mean, the only two things that Mom and I did in November of this year is to celebrate my 23rd anniversary of my life and celebrate Thanksgiving. Or should I say, a split Thanksgiving. And that's the only activities that Mom and I did. The rest of the month, nothing. And finally in December, well, at least me, Brandon, Lance, Nazi, and Junior did spend some time together. We went to Frankie's Fun Place, like twice. I mean, the first time we went go-kart racing, the second time, um, laser tag. And we did indeed went bowling, and I did enjoy Christmas, because again, the best Christmas present that mom had is being together after three years. That's also my big Christmas present too, because for the first time in three years, that me, Brandon, Lance, and Junior reunited. But after ne next week, it's back to me and Mom again in our dull, dull lives. 
and I'm still fucking jobless. But I'll have to get a job in 2019, so I don't want to be stuck in the house, like, too much. 24-7, just like in November of this year. So that's what's been happening to me this year. But when the clock strikes midnight, it's bye-bye 2018 and hello 2019. So once again, my New Year's resolution for 2019 is continuing on with my YouTube channel and get more subscribers. Also, try to at least get a new job so I can earn some money. And I know I have been doing a lot of TME videos lately on my summer vacation. Well, that's because I don't have a vehicle. Ever since I'm here in Columbia, South Carolina, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do a TME video because I don't have a vehicle. Mm -mm. I don't have my 2003 Oldsmobile Alero anymore because I have to give it to someone. But I will try at least do some TME videos in 2019 once I get a job and a vehicle. Cause so far I've already done like eight. Or was it seven? Well, I'll take a look at it. Well guys, I'm gonna close down this video now. I hope you guys have a happy motherfucking New Year's. The clock strikes midnight, 2019.